Hey guys, Star Ocean Kill from UnitLoss.com and we have got another UK UTL cast between Phil and he's get lost. He's not from Aberdeen. He's from Edinburgh. Edinburgh Napier to be exact. And we have uh, him as the pink Protoss again. Um, and this is the third game, I believe, in the uh, the group A series between these these two respected learned establishments. That's learned, I said, not learning. Although, actually, when you're a learned fellow, you're uh, well-educated, aren't you? You can't be a learned establishment. <laughs> Can you? I don't know. I just don't know. So then we've got the Fade, who's the the, uh, the yellow Zerg, and the Fade. Well, he's from, <laughs> I'm sure Kirioff would like to say. Aberdeen. Aberdeen. He's from Aberdeen University. And uh, I believe we're on Terminus Re, the uh, crazy massive map that everyone loves. I know I love it. Well, do you know what else I love? Do you know what else I love? Some, what do you love? What do you love? Go on, son, let Our me know. Our sponsor, Total Biscuit. Oh, good lord! From cynicalbrit.com. So uh, check it out. And well, I love, love chips him. and curry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Battered sausage. That sounds wrong, but I like it. Yeah. Battered burger. Oh yeah. Battered burger is amazing. Even yeah. So check out really Cynical Brit before I start talking garbage. He's the man with the money. He's the man with the plan. He's the fellow who's coming and uh, handed over the wallet. So whoever wins this, well, the, the the top finishing positions get paid the cash monies. Um, really, you know, we should get all the money. That's my view on the situation. <laughs> That's my view. On and when I say we, I mean me, not Kirioff, just me. I'm I'll come up with the story and say the thing is, Kirioff, uh, you know, no money, mate. It's, it's bad times. I'm gonna have to let you go. You're fired. <laughs> Don't believe it. Apprentice I'm style. You're fired. Cash. Get out. So, so we we uh, we go into the game and we look and what we see and what we see is basically what we always see: Zerg and Protoss early game. There's no cheese coming in. And actually, I don't think we've seen any cheese in the uh, UK UTL so far. No, there's been a distinct lack of it. Some a, a nice uh, nice block of uh, Wensley Dale. That's what I'm after. It's always enjoyable when somebody gets cheesed. I mean, they're, they're fun to cast as well because it's like instant action straight away. We haven't got to bore you with garbage to begin with, but the thing is, everyone loves the garbage. I love the garbage and uh, the trash, whatever you want to call it. If you're Americanized, goddamn trash. I love me some trash. <laughs> I suddenly came from the <laughs> south. <laughs> Jesus, man. Anyway. So we've got Warpgate being researched, as you would expect, from any self-respecting uh, Protoss player. And it looks like that poor little probe is going to get binned by them two Zerglings. Are they going to kill him? Is he going to escape? No, they're faster than him. He's got, I think he, oh, that's Phil. Oh. That is absolutely Phil. Just right on the edge and he stopped the hatchery, although he's been blown away. And the little blocks drop on the ground. It's like a game of Minecraft. Dear, oh dear. I'll tell you what. I've, I've never even tried the game. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> Maybe I should. Everyone raves about it. I just don't really see the point in it. Anyway, um, yeah, so that drone's been binned there as well in, in uh, Phil's base. I'd like to know the, the reason why Phil is pink as well. Why is he pink? Although I, I do know, think pink, I, I pink think Terran it's, I think he's a gangster pink. and his nickname is Pink Phil. Pink Phil? Why is he yeah. called Pink Phil though? Um, why why um, would he be called that? I don't want to go into it. <laughs> When Pink Phil's in town, it's all going brown <laughs> and down. <laughs> Everyone's going to get killed. I tell you what, we, we need we need more action. I tell you, anyone who's yet to play in the UTL, the UK UTL, obviously, um, do something crazed. If you want to see crazed? I want to see a, a, a proxy gate or cannon rush or uh, proxy hatchery. I'd love to see a proxy hatchery. <laughs> Ain't done enough. Mainly because it usually fails, but that's not that's no reason not to do it. Good old fashioned cannon rush. That zealot is going to get killed, is he? No, he's lucky. He's got away. He's run back to the base. I don't think he's took any damage. Nah, he's took no damage. He's got one kill. He's the old disciple with one kill. So there's a sentry got a kill as well. The fades overlord's working into the back of Phil's base, and um, he's uh, actually he's going to see that stargate. Oh dear, he's going to see the stargate. He's going to see the phoenixes. And actually, did Phil do this last game? He did, didn't he? He did exactly the same thing. Last game he went yes. for the Phoenixes. Well, the last game he played in. I think it was game one in the uh, the match series between Aberdeen and Edinburgh. So he's clearly a man who likes his Phoenixes. I would Why say it's more effective against Zerg, though. 
Or was it game yeah. one or game two? Anyway, whatever game it was, I would say um, against Zerg, it's definitely more effective than doing it against Protoss. Because in PvP, the only really use they had was against the uh, the Colossus, and even then they got blown away by Blink Stalkers, which was not what you wanted to see. Blink Stalkers are pretty much horrific against anything that flies, though. He's Ooh. moving the Phoenix up a bit earlier. He's not waited for to get, some would say, a critical mass of four or so. But really, I don't think he's got that much to stop it. He could... Well, he's got... Ah, uh, he's got three... What am I on about? He's got four queens. I thought he only had the one queen. Maybe I should look more at the unit station and then see... Oh, there's four queens. Mr. Stylo, so you fool. So he's took damage on that Phoenix, which is kind of needless. He didn't really have to take that damage, but he has. So, you know, he's got to deal with it. Another Phoenix is coming in to join him with that batch. It looks like he's just going to rally point them over there. I don't... Where are they actually going? I think they're just going to wait it out over the abyss. Oh, no, they're going in. They're going in. Yeah, I think they're going to try and snatch a couple of uh, couple of drones. Yeah, kill a few drones. Away. Queens are working their way back over. They need to get out of there now. <laughs> They've actually been blocked, the queens, out by them drones. <laughs> <laughs> they're not impressed. They are not impressed. Some Zerglings have been sent down by the Fade, so we know the expansions come up from Phil. Which Phil obviously needs to keep in this game because he doesn't want to get left behind in the old macro game. And since the fade has expanded again, he you know, he's got a bit of he's got a bit of a lead. Although the more damage those phoenixes can do, the less the lead will be. Well, the thing is, the damage the phoenix has done has not really been that much, to be honest. The, the work account, although it is in favour of the fade uh, of um, Phil, sorry. The Fade, when he gets his other hatchery up, I mean, he's going to be running off three hatcheries there. He's going to be quite quite commanding the production he's going to be able to pump out. He's got a lot of queens as well, but he's kind of a bit paranoid about the uh, phoenixes. Maybe he needs to get spreading more creep there, because, I mean, he's just stockpiling energy. Lava inject as well. He could do with a bit of that going on as well. The queens are totally... They're not being used at all, are they? Yeah, they yeah. need to be spread out. And Void rays well, on the field as well now. Ooh. Is there a two void rays? No, that's proxy pylon. Although it looks the same on the minimap. Fantastic. <laughs> so the void ray is going to go in. And the void ray. Um, mm, it's not really going to be that much use against that many queens. The queens will just kill the void ray. Maybe you could. Well, I suppose you could use three graviton beams on the queens and just void ray one queen to death. I'm not sure whether a void ray kills a queen 1v1. It might do, you know. I think they might. Ooh, oh, those, those queens five know what's happening. They're going to get that void ray. Bad. Yeah. He's completed the creep highway as well. Well, all his bases are connected by creep, and it looks like he's started expanding more as well. Burn up some of the energy on the Queens, although they still have quite a bit of energy on him, so could be used a little bit more. I think he's he's worried about moving them out because he's, they're the only anti aerials that apart from staff. Yeah, yeah. He's, um, he's, well, the thing is, though, I mean, you can get paranoid to the extent where you, you don't do anything with it. As soon as. I mean, the Void Rays are coming in there and they're denying couple of the drones but they're not going to be able to stop that look not the phoenix sorry not the void ray not going to be able to stop that spore caller coming in the void ray could kill it but he's going to get shooed away by the queens might actually get killed by the queens Ooh. no phoenix there maybe no gone so denied again by the queens yeah i get another spore crawler down and that's pretty pretty tight there and it's not going to be much getting through there yeah mutilists are on the way as well now which yeah. is i do like that <laughs> well i do like that because you can fly the mutilist straight into the Straight into the main, effectively, of Phil and harass the expansion. As long as he keeps away from the store, because he should be fine. It's it's actually it's sort of playing him in his own game as well. Because at the moment, I think a lot of Phil's efforts will be going into what he's doing with those phoenixes and just trying to sneak the void ray in and every now and again. I know, he's but he's, not, he's he's not really doing anything though. Is he? he sneaks it in, gets a bit of damage off, maybe kills a drone or two. It's like yeah, a lot of investment for nothing really. Yeah, although I think. I think he's actually scouted. Has he scouted that? Spire? I think he must have done. He's got a couple of cannons going down for the new expansion. Um, I'm surprised he hasn't got more going down around his main and his natural, but. No, he doesn't know the spire's there, so it's just a, a reaction off him. He does have a, an observer which he could send in um, to check out the other. Although he's gone straight into the main there and he's. He, Actually, actually, you shouldn't have pulled away there, Phil. You should have carried on there and kept attacking them overlords. You would have got a couple of kills. Maybe got a kill at least. Although I think the Mutalist drew him back there because the Mutalist was just hanging around the back of his base doing a bit of sickening damage. Yeah, he's got quite a few kills out of that. 
Yeah, two, he two, always, one, one. He's got like six kills. Yeah, he almost took all probes. Well. Oh yeah, the void ray took a bit of damage as well. I missed it because I was too busy looking at the top. <laughs> it seems to. It looks like they're both basically building themselves a nice bit of defensive, uh, a defensive army and just basically chilling out. Yeah, they are. I mean, it, there's not really been any major. Nobody's really gone. You know what? I'm just going to push on you now. I'm really going to deny expansions. I'm going to, you know, pile the pressure on. It's just seems to be another one of the matches where they're just chilling out, waiting. You know, building up the forces, see where they're going to go from there. I mean, the units tab, we've got 11 roaches, 7 lings, and that's it, really? What's happened to the yeah. mutilists? Have they been killed? They, they must have been. They, I think, I just caught the three phoenixes killing the last mutilists, so I think they sort of herded them and binned them. 